Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 2, the PC port. We're gonna. S uh, I wish I could do the uh, do this on an emulator, but I've been wrestling with it and I just can't get it to work. So, PC version it is for now. Until I get a capture card, then I'll revisit this thing, do it properly. But for now, nope, no, no, you don't. We're gonna. <laughs> play on normal, which is a direct uh, direct transition from the PlayStation version. That hard mode is exclusive to the PC. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts and of America. And this is the only cutscene in the goddamn port that works. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus. A mutagenic toxin created by the International Nation Enterprise, Enterprise Umbrella, Umbrella Incorporated, Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police <laughs> Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Yeah. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments. Five. This is the only cutscene in the game that works. And now... Black screen and nothing but sound. So we're just gonna skip that. Yep. Not to mention... This is the PC port. I'm stuck using an analog stick to try to control this. Because it won't let me try, it won't let me map the D-pad. This has been fun trying to get this get this to a state where I can let's play. But Great. anyway, <laughs> what are you doing here? And by fun, Don't I mean shoot. I'm a human. By fun, I mean very frustrating. Ooh, sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Well, you're perceptive. Or oh, I didn't know shit was happening to the entire town was nothing but zombies. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Now, the gameplay's a bit jumpy. There's no auto aim. You can't. There's no aiming options whatsoever. Uh, testing this. This is the first time. I, what, see right there, it jumped. Is it Skippy? That's not th because of recording. That's just. That's just how this port is. Oh no! Don't worry, sirs. Oh damn it. Okay, never mind. You can have the fucking. I was gonna try to jack his bow gun. If you do it fast enough, you can actually check him and then grab it and back away. Oh well. We'll stick with the bullets. I know if you don't pick up any bullets, you have access to the special costume and the super zombie. I don't care. I. I'm not a big fan of the special costumes in this. I'm not a big fan of. Uh, we have health. We can push through. I said we have health. We can push through. Skippy. <laughs> yeah. Not the greatest port in the world. I think some minimum wage interns probably did this. That's how bad it is. But so dodging is a bit tricky because, like I said, I'm stuck using an analog stick for what was a game that was designed with a uh, eight directional, basically eight directional buttons, and it's not exactly. Sometimes it doesn't want to turn you very much, and sometimes it wants to whip you around corners but 
Uh, I've tried various emulators, I've tried various plugins, drivers, ISOs, I've even tried my hard copies, my actual copies of Resident Evil 2, and it just, they, there's just too many bugs in the emulator, I can't actually play the game. Characters are literally forgetting their lines, they'll sit there waving their arms around not saying anything. It's a little hilarious, but the random, hello! Yes, I knew that was there. Yes, I did that on purpose. Same thing with this. Why? Oh no. I'm in caution. Ooh. So scary. I don't feel like using the bullets. <laughs> See? I could have done that so much more smoothly with the D-pad. Oh well. This, at least the game is playable and I can b bring you the gameplay. That's what counts. That's, that's, that what is right, right now, that's what matters to me. Is I can actually bring you, um, all four scenario variations. Claire A, Leon B, which is what, which is what I'm doing first. Followed by Leon A. Claire B. Why? Well, it's the same reason I did the advanced and ranged modes for both Jill and Chris in Resident Evil when I first started LPing over a year ago. Because it's for completeness. Completeness sake. Just because. You know, if you're gonna LP, if you're gonna LP a game like this, you might as well just do both scenario sets. Now. I'm still babbling on about what, what, what the problems with this damn game are. <laughs> no auto-aim. We'll run in here real quick, because since we have to have a... have to have a mild conversation with a... a Will Smith wannabe look-alike. <laughs> Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris. <laughs> Jill Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months <laughs> ago, like the zombies don't. there was this... <laughs> Explain that. Involving these zombie-like creatures. Hey, y'all forgot the in reptilians. Located in the outskirts of this Damn hunters. City. Chris and, snakes. and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. everything. At the risk of their own lives. But no, no one, one believed, believed them. them. <laughs> Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue I'm the survivors in the other room. Selfless bastard. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But. Just I said go. I'm being a selfless fool. Now okay. go. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Yeah, I'll be back soon, and I don't know how long. Another real fun fact. Well, okay. Also, this is a PC version, so guess what? Even if I did want to abuse save states, which honestly I think is kind of lame for Resident Evil. The only reason I use save states and with the first one is literally, like I said, if I die, so I don't have to, you know, go back. There's a lot of bullets there. It was a, it was literally a death cushion. It wasn't. Oh no! I fucked up a dodge. I better reload because you know ammunition is so scarce in Resident Evil. You have to dodge every enemy, or you're not gonna have enough ammo when it really matters. Ooh. So, which is complete bullshit. They put way too much in for something that. There it goes skipping again. For something that's meant to be. Uh, survival horror. They really put way too much ammo in Resident Evil 2. Alright, we're gonna juice up with a 
little bit of ganj. Take the pain away, man. Now we're gonna head in here first. Why? Because I said so. I'm the one playing this game, don't question me. Now, another fun little fact. This game... I'm gonna get raped in the corner here. Oh, hell. Hi. I use the bow gun. <laughs> I use the, I actually use the bow gun from the gun shop on these guys if I actually grabbed it. Of course, things always go wrong when you're recording. But like I was saying, the other well, that's the other bitch is. If you kill them all in a big pile, you can't tell who's dead. There may be sleepy zombies. Or clearing these assholes out. One, because there's a ridiculous amount of handgun bullets. Two, we need to come through here later. And three, I'm going to explain that when I get to the when I get to the room that I'm pointing this at little out bleh, pointing Making this point about. Oh, can't speak. Like I was saying, I cannot save while I am playing this. While I am recording this, I cannot save. If I try to save. save while I'm recording, the game will crash, which means I will lose all progress, which means I will have to restart this entire LP over again from the beginning. The same goes if I die, I have to restart this entire LP. I have to basically complete each scenario in one go, with no save states. <laughs> So, I am going to play it a little more cautious. Well, I am going to play it a little cautiously. And I am going to... Let's see. See? There's a box of handgun bullets. Is there anything else in this room? No. There is not. Make a note of that. There is nothing else in this room. Of course, it's kind of pointless for Claire to come here because, oh no, it's a box of bullets. What to do? But make note that that room is devoid of enemy... Life, <laughs> so to speak. Did I grab that? Yes, I did. I grabbed the red, the red ganj. Now, if you think I might be, oh no, you're gonna run out of ammo now. You shot all those zombies. No, I'm not. No. So yeah, another thing I need to mention that's buggy, like I said, none of the cutscene, except for that first, very first part of cutscene, oh, oh damn, I almost accidentally used that. That would have been terrible. Aside from that very first bit of cutscene, all other cutscenes in this game do not work. They were black screens with the sound. That's it. And if you let them play, there's a chance they will crash the game. So I'm going to have to skip all those regardless. Now, another little fact. The information files that you find scattered throughout the game that give little bits of backstory and other crap. Come on.
Ah, oh, damn it. That one pushed pushed him into the middle of the Oh well. It's not like it's some devastating attack or anything. Okay. These rooms are frequented later on. We come charging through here two or three times. If you're a new Resident Evil player, I'd say go ahead and waste these bastards. Just because, you know, like I said, if you're a new Resident Evil player or you're using really crappy controls, then, yeah. Take kill enemies in frequented rooms. If it's some place that you're only passing through once or twice, you can let them live. We're coming out here now. Why? Because I'm I'm a hoarder. I'm pretty sure that makes sense. I like stockpiling. So, voila! We have a full heal, we got four green herbs. Now, oh, yeah, uh, I was talking about the files. The files, flipping between the pages on the files, will cause this game to crash. So we can't read files. Any files that we're forced to read, I'm immediately backing out of. The but running around shooting zombies? Well, hey, that's that's fun, right? We can still run around and shoot us some zombies. That should top my health almost off. Two, two, three, six. I remember that from God so many years ago. I played this game so much. I don't need a map. I'll leave the map there. Why am I leaving the map there? Because I feel like it. I don't need it. <laughs> it's been so many years since I actually played this game. The problem is I can still pretty much, with just a little thought, rattle off a complete walkthrough. <laughs> oh yeah, you go here, you shoot this, grab this, grab miscellaneous item number 873 and insert it into the mysterious slot in the yada yada. <laughs> Uh, who designs these places? Crazy, I tell you. Crazy. Now, I'm not going for a speed run. I'm just playing for the fuck of it. Playing for the fuck of it so I can get this up. Then I can move on to Resident Evil 3. Which also, I'm having problems on the emulator. So that's going to be fun because I have to use the PC version of that fucking thing too. There we go. Yes, I'm organized. There's a first aid. Sp you can use her lockpick to unlock chest bleh, drawers like that. There's a first aid spray in there. Uh, they will lower your rank. So if you're going for special items or uh, hidden scenarios, don't use first aid sprays. Which honestly, I should take it because it's not like it really, not like it really matters what I do. Anyway. Check the headless guy whose head seems to have been twisted off by something. This part right here, when when this game first came out, this was the first game to scare me so bad that I actually... This, this right here. But you can't see it because the screen's black, so we're going to skip it. That thing. Oh, you bastard, you're supposed to jump at me. Now you're going to jump at me and do massive damage. Fuck you. You see, usually when you take a step back, if you walk, they can't really hear you too well. Now, usually with that guy, about a little more than half the time, you can step back and that'll bring him up on his hind legs. And then you take, you basically hold run and take like half a step forward, it'll cause him to do that jump. And once he basically whips his arm back, prepping for it, 
you aim, and as soon as he lifts off the ground, you shoot his ass, and he'll knock him flat on his back. At which point you can actually kill him with the uh, with the pistol. And uh, wait, why did I come in here? Okay, there's. I don't have a lighter, so there's no point in being in here. Uh, that corner I ran into that I didn't pick anything up with Leon. There's ammo over there. I I like Leon's scenario a lot better, so I usually I have muscle memory just running into rooms as Leon, basically. Huh. I think recording this is actually making it skippier than usual. Fucked up as that could be. Ah, uh, another room of slaughter. If we're to take a few steps forward, run back here, turn around. Of course, you can do that faster with auto aim, but what the fuck does this game know about auto aim? busy talking, I'm not even paying attention to I'm not even paying attention to how many shots I... I'm not even counting my shots, oh well. And it skipped me, so I missed. Oh, you fucker. Claire's handgun. Claire and Leon actually have different handguns. Claire's handgun holds 13 rounds, Leon holds 18. Claire's gun is slightly more powerful than Leon's. Slightly. Not by much. Leon's, however, is special, which we shall get to Leon's weapons when we play as Leon. check there we get some more handgun bullets wow there's so little ammo in this game I'm scared that we might not make it some god or, well zone G or however the fuck you say it damn kids and your aggressive frame or whatever also I don't know how the audio is exactly gonna turn out on this there are no audio volume controls so I don't know if this light doo -doo 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 music could be completely blocking me out for all I fucking know. <laughs> Why don't you just wait till you get a capture card to do this instead of revisiting it later? Why? Because I'm OCD about some things. I'm just going to say that now. I'm OCD about some things, so I have to have a Resident Evil 2 up before I do Resident Evil 3. And I'm gonna have to do Resident Evil, get a Resident Evil 3 up, LP up, before I do Resident Evil 4. Yes, I do have Resident Evil 4 for PC. Um, I wish it was the GameCube version still, but it's actually not that. Oh, also, behind the statue, the central statue, check. There's handgun bullets. God damn, I'm gonna run out of ammo. But, uh, yeah, I, since Resident Evil 4 was, a uh, GameCube version, I got it the day of release, and I actually drove, uh, drove 35 miles up the port, uh, basically to the nearest GameStop <laughs> before work. I went to work at, like, 11 in the morning. I drove up there, got it, came back home, played it for a half hour. I'm like, oh god damn it, I gotta go work and sit in the skit, sit in the damn booth and watch all the little bastards wipe out on the bunny hill. Resident Evil 4 came out the year I worked at a ski resort. Very boring, crappy pay. Seven days a week. It was bullshit. But, Resident Evil... You know what? I am not going for rank, so what the f hell? Um... Hmm. That's interesting. There's... Oh, that's, um... 
think that must be Resident Evil 3. That there's a first aid spray in that, uh... That medical bag on the wall. Anyway, we... You have to pick up, uh, Chris's diary to get the unicorn medal. Check this right here for some handgun bullets. So you don't run out. Oh my god, because things are so scarce. Now this is Wesker's desk from Resident Evil. I'm not checking it 50 times, but it's like 30 or 50 times. I think it's 50. But you just keep checking it over and over and over again. You'll eventually get a secret film that... Don't want to read that because I don't want the game to crash. You'll eventually get a secret film that you can take back to that last save room we were in, the dark room. And you can develop it in the back room. And it's just a... Basically, a picture of Rebecca and some RPG gym clothes. It's a rookie photo or recruit photo or something. So, yeah, nothing too big. However, I will, I will, uh, no, yeah, I was talking about Resident Evil 4. Uh, you, I will, I am happy to tell you that Resident Evil 4 is not a busted ass port like this is so when we do get to Resident Evil 4 eventually then it will actually not it well I don't know how it's gonna record but it shouldn't be shit at least from what I've played of it so far in the first chapter it, it plays very well Resident Evil 3 a PC I haven't tried yet so that's still... Oh yeah, his arms come through there. Hardly a surprise to me. This is the game that killed horror for me. Because once I overcame the motherfucker in this hallway, the liquor, once I, once I overcame it and got past this liquor, I... Yeah, you... Whee! Once I overcame that fucker, it literally just... Horror died. I haven't been scared of a game since, and it, honestly, it kind of sucks. Because everyone's saying, well, this is such a great game. Well, you know, like I said, I'm not really... I don't care. I don't care about rank. So I'm taking a first aid spray. I haven't... I haven't huffed first aid spray on a paper bag in a long time. There's all this rank bullshit going on here. Damn nabbit. Oh yes, um... Resident Evil 2 is when first aid sprays started becoming no-nos. The director's cut and the original Resident Evil for PlayStation, you could huff your first aid spray out of the paper bag and not take rank penalty. Use the unicorn metal here to get a cutscene we can't see, which is basically that statue moving forward, jerking forward a little bit from the impact and dropping the precinct key. Also, if you look at it, it's kind of obvious that if you check it, it becomes the spade key. But anyway... I'm going to shut up with the negativity about the horrible port that was made by monkeys. Chimpanzees. In a back room, paid minimum wage. Actually, I changed that. The, a, group of, a, gr a group of chimpanzees from the zoo could probably make a better port than whatever intern they probably didn't pay to make this. <laughs> But, uh, like I said, I, I'm gonna stop. Oh. Hello! Wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but I usually kill him. Because you have to come back through this hallway a few times. Well, since I've dodged him thus far, I'm not going to waste precious grenade rounds or anything. Because... Because, actually, now that I just remembered, we still do have to come through this hallway one more time as Claire. Fuck. But, uh, 
Screw it. I am sober no longer. I'm back on the spray, bitch. Just because I don't care and this game is choppy. Stop being negative about the poor and play it. Oh, it's spider thingy. It's trying to tongue me. We still got a precinct key. Uh, we pushed the, the stool back there. You saw me grab the crank. The satanic crank makes its return. Yeah. I'm scared too. I hate cranks. The evil, evil satanic crank. It comes back and goes bleh. Actually, no, it doesn't go bleh. It goes bleh. Like Vlad. Who's not a vampire. <laughs> that still cracks me up, though, every time he did that. Bleh. Oh, crap. The most vicious satanic enemy in this game. And I'm not talking about that zombie. The zombie's an innocent victim in all this. Anyway, we've used the precinct key and using our psychic powers. We know it's useless. So we're discarding it. Where is that thing? Leon, Leon. Are, you, are you okay? Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just Yeah, it almost ripped my throat Bush. out. What is I it? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. When I find her, of I'm going to step on her throat and put a bullet in her head. The radio. Damn that demon. way we can keep in touch if something comes up. You know, all of our problems, and we're going to worry about this little liability. Check here. Huh? Oh man, I'm going to run out of bullets. I don't know what I'm going to do, man. Game over, man. Game over. Flame rounds. Of course, that's a locked drawer, so... Which, the point is moot with Claire, since she has a lock pick. So a locked, which is of course useless on anything that requires a a funny symbol key or something. So, all right, let's grab this red herb. Totally ignore the rest of the room for now, because well, we don't really have to.